Hello everybody and welcome to another Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Let's Play video. This is another video with Sword Talios and we're waving hello, have a brother. And uh, today we are going to be continuing following Fi here, hello Fi. And um, now I got, again, so how are, how, how, blah, blah, how am I going to say this? Okay, so how was everybody's holiday? Mine was quite swell. Um... I, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but... Oh, wait, we gotta do it down here? Okay. So, it was kind of hard for me to kind of record just a little bit because I had to... Oh, that's far. Should use the sailcloth. Shum, sailcloth, yay! Oh, shoot. Okay, <laughs> well, um, anyways, it was kind of hard for me to record down here. Um, this cat thing is terrifying. Because I had to move a computer down here every single time, and so I got my desk down here. Got a new desk. And uh, we got to move our Apple laptop or our Apple our Apple computer down here. Die, 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 die! I don't want you to hurt me at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and pick you up. Can I? I'm gonna throw you off the edge. Uh, you know you're trying to claw me. Oh, uh, can we reach? We can't reach. All right, well now we can reach. Goodbye. Uh, hopefully that's dead. Well, it's probably not gonna be dead. I know exactly what happens. But anyways, so as I was trying to uh, kill the thing. Anyways, so we I got a new little desk down here, and I believe that's rupees down there. Uh, let's go ahead and actually grab that. Uh, and so I got that, and it's quite nice, and I'm really enjoying it. We got to move the Mac down here, so it's really easy to record this. Uh, and Minecraft as well, and it's just exciting. So red rupee, always, always worth the 20 rupees to hop down here and grab them. And again, hopefully that cat thing didn't try to... Oh my gosh, it's alive! Ah, no, you did deal down. You did damage to me again. Go away. That was rude. Okay, and I figure, I think it takes stamina to hang here. Yes, it does. Okay, so I just go across. I figure if you just go across as fast as you can, it's a lot better. Go, Link. Speed across. Uh, it's just better because then you're um, using less stamina, and just if you ever do actually run out of stamina, then then you're you're not like 100% out. It's it's still pretty close, you know. So let's go ahead and grab this rupee as we run up, because you actually do need to sprint up that, so there's no avoiding it. And let's go ahead and get rid of this chew, go away. Grab some blue chili, baby, we got our first collectible, woohoo! Our jelly blob may look like a boring wad of gunk, but we can we can collect it. Very, very nice. Uh, and let's, I'm pretty sure we can run. I'm not going to, like, roll or anything, because I figure Link might not make it if we roll. There we go, okay, uh, and go away, die, thank you. And do we need a heart? We need one heart. I will go ahead and- You got a heart! This item, literally life-giving item, restores one heart. Why, thank you. We gotta run so we can actually make it up here. Let's just leap up this thing. Shake a shake a shake a shake the Wii Remote. Ha! Shake! There we go. There we go, we made it up. And I don't think there's any stamina fruit, so I'm not gonna completely waste my stamina. Because if you do, then you can't even, like, move at all. So, uh, I actually tested it out a couple times before we went on screen. But again, you can't move at all, so... Uh, it's kind of weird. Now, I'm, I'm thinking because I don't know if I, if I could be, like, some kind of apparition thing. And I know if I is, but, uh, it, she could be some kind of, like, apparition, you know. Because you can go through doors, and he, he just won this amazing award and all this stuff. So, he, he, and he might be dreaming, he might be hallucinating, whatever. Um, with the, also the cat thing being evil. So, I don't know. Uh, Fi could be some kind of ghost, and we will figure out if Fi's a ghost later on, and I actually do know already, but, uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, no, 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 we got our sword, and it's awesome, Link, he's just, face is exclaimed in, in surprise and stuff, and also, I probably won't monetize this video, because there's gonna be a lot of cutscene, how far are we into it, like, oh my gosh, I can't even see, oh, Fi, you're awesome, uh, three minutes, okay, excuse me, the one chosen by my creator, I've been waiting for you, you will play a role in Great Destiny, alright, well, I guess it's pretty reasonable, uh, why did that get turned up all the way, oh, there we go, oh, wait, I apologize if that was really loud throughout the whole video, Gosh, well, uh, let me actually turn that down just a little bit more. There we go. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal destination. Phi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose. Long before the memory of your people, I must aid you in fulfilling a great destiny, the burden you carry. Which is technically almost with the sword. T take up the sword as your one chosen by my creator. It is destiny. I wonder... Okay, who made the goddess sword? Is actually... Because I'm pretty sure it was the goddesses, I'm assuming. But... Strange dreams come during your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of your one you... Of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it's only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, duh. Why would I not? To minimize your uncertainty. Blah, blah, blah. I, nah. 
don't really want to read through everything that, that Fi says, because she kind of talks for a while. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <gasps> oh my goodness, she is. We gotta go save her now. It's my quest. It's my destiny. As And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be a part of the same great mission. I'm really, really glad I caught that audio thing. I, I'll probably just um, fix it, because I do audio audacity as well, so I'll just I'll fix that. Uh, thence for, therefore, there, thence. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? Flip, yes, I am. <laughs> he just totally runs. He's not even, he's not even hesitant. He wants to save Zelda. We need to save Zelda. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. Like what? Like, like forcing me? Cause, or like, like shooting me or something? The name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Alrighty. Or, like, what would you, like, like hit, hit me or something? I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and, and let's examine this before we draw it. We need, we need to make sure it's safe. We actually get to put our Wii Remote down. A, and, yeah, fall the sword out of the pedestal thingy and, wait, 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 wait. It's, like, backwards. There we go. That was really awkward. I should have figured that out. Not 100% sure what music is playing right now, but... I don't think it matters. Um, okay, you got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Let me actually quickly. If you if you guys see a little blip right about now, ooh, whoops. There we go. I apologize for that. Uh, recognition complete. All right, Master Link, my master. Yes, haha. -ha. There we go. We got this awesome sword, and it glows. I wonder if it glows when like like goblins are nearby or something like that. My question is, how the heck did he even know I'd be up here? I had my suspicions, but until now, I wasn't sure. Yet, here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold of the youth of legend would one day appear. Reasonable. Uh, so, the stuff, the very knowledge of this room's existence, a secret passed down to select few. Which is also very reasonable, because you wouldn't want somebody stealing the sword and pretending to be the hero. When the light of the goddess sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Dang it! Why did I do that? I wake to the apocalypse. Do not fear. So that's good, because I, I, I don't want to wake an apocalypse. It started days ago. The sword that I have kept secret all these years has began to give off a faint otherworldly light. Oh, it wasn't me. Okay, good. At first, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. How did you get through the door? Because if I had to, like, open the door, and I'm not sure if I open the door for you, I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. I bet you're kind of also disappointed because there's this great evil that's going to happen during your lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true very before my eyes. The youth will be guided by one by word blade. <laughs> one who is also youthful and likeness is in awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. Ah, yes, the Oracle tradition. Um, <laughs> it appears that critical selections of the passage have been lost with the generations. They all, they exclaim, they're like, oh no, oh no, oh my gosh, how did we lose it? How did that happen? The youth who draws forth the, the guide, I'm actually going to read this whole thing. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below, and united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that shall resurrect the land. Wow. She remembered all that. That's insanely craziness. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Skyloft is it's fairly vast, I, I have to say. How did you sheath your sword that fast? Master, you must embark on a great journey below the cloud, or beneath the clouds of the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you create our goddesses. It is also only method uh, that you can be reunited with Zelda. This is a poor guy. This is no easy task, Link. The word below is a forsaken place, and you you need to do stuff. In living memory, nobody has ever been there. That's why Fi can help us get there, because that would really suck if we actually couldn't go there. It's like, you need to go there, but you can't really do that, because the, the clouds are unbreakable, and you just... Really, I wonder what would happen, though, because like, if you if you hit the clouds, because you, you can't hit clouds, the tablet will enumerate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Because, I mean, I figure it could just make a beacon and you could just fall through the clouds. But, I don't know. Uh, you got the emerald tablet at the weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet. Feels very old, which is very reasonable. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting on the room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within the blade when you lift it skyward. Alrighty, well, that's that's pretty good. Send out a powerful skyward strike. Okay, so I think, I'm not sure 100% if there's a skyward, sword, or a skyward strike. Okay, there's not. 
Our scout strike went away. Gosh, it's it's hard to like actually perfectly get it. I'm actually gonna practice just a little uh, to get it. Boop, perfect. There we go. Cause I need to learn how to get this fast. And of course, I'll, I'll learn uh, later on. Like it'll 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 become more easier easier as we go. Uh, but it's kind of hard to do, so let's go ahead and hit this. Shing! Oh, it's so fun. It's just like a beam of energy. It's like the uh, when you've got full hearts in most other Zelda games, and you like can like send out a beam. But uh, you don't have to have full hearts to do this one, or else that'd be really dumb, and you couldn't complete the game because there's some other things that you wouldn't be able to do. All right, so let's go ahead, and uh, I actually want to put my sword away, put away because we don't need it out. And let's examine this tablet. I totally just like moved over there. Was there like a like a, a draft of air or water that slipped me over there? I don't know. So this little green emeraldy thing just kind of glows just a little bit. It's not even all that light. But the goddess statue. Why does she have like a bazooka or something? <laughs> That's my question. Okay, so there we go. We've got ourselves a pathway to the surface. Woohoo! And everything turned green. That is a very bright beacon, I have to say. Um, what you gonna do? Master Link, it is done. Okay, that's great. Awesome, thanks for letting me know. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier you can use to travel through the clouds. Why couldn't I just fall through the clouds? Would I, like, hit the clouds or something? Or would they, like, like, like a uh, mattress? A really, really fluffy mattress, and it's just blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I recognize you as my master, so it is my duty to follow you wherever you go. I reside within your sword, so I can press down to summon Phi if I ever need to. There we go. Phi turned into a bottle of energy and went inside the sword. Think listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whenever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big roles to play. Just think, if it's what Phi says is true, Zelda is alive. Okay, so this is not an apparition, FYI. It's not a ghost, because this dude can see Phi as well. So, I uh, should heed the call of destiny. Just seeing how long... Uh, but if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. It's, it's reasonable to you to think about your daughter. Uh, we've seen you here today. Defies explanation. Um, please see it through and prove legends true. It's so much. No way. Okay. Um, can I move down? Okay. Boop. Yep. I did not want to choose the wrong one. I wanted to make sure that it was great. You do your people proud, Link. Because I want to take on this adventure. Man, I'm so dang excited. It's just like craziness is going to happen from now on. Dawn is drawing near. It's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. Your uniform you receive for winning the race should be ready by now. Sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better go change before you go. Also, this sword is like twice as strong as the uh, practice sword, I believe. So, there, there's that. We got a lot more power uh, in this sword, which is funny because I think it doubles every single time. Uh, do we want to save? No, we won't save right now. Just because if something happens, you know, to the recording, and it doesn't work, and I don't like it, whatever, then I can I can go back. And I don't know why I said, like, a Texan accent right there, but that's okay. So there we go. Link's got his, his green outfit on. Sweet awesomeness. Like you, green uniform, what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color. Uh, it's though you were born to wear it. Why does he have earrings? Why does he have earrings in all these games? Link should not wear, wear earrings. Boys should not wear earrings, my opinion. He looks better like that when you can't see the earrings. Take care on your journey. Be sure to stop by the Shimmelous Shops at Bazaar. And actually, you can get something from Bazaar. So let's go ahead. Uh, you're always welcome to stop by if you've got questions. Of course, you don't really help us much, but... You know what? That's okay. I figure we'll, we'll stop by anyways, because um, I think that it is actually part what you're supposed to do so let's go ahead i don't really need to talk to you but i will uh i hear your spurring and structure also uh knows that he's you will set up from scott if he's concerned for you why don't you consider stopping by the sparing hall to speak with him before you go okay so we've got to go by the sparing hall and i actually know why we've got to go by the sparing hall as well as we've got to go by bazaar and really the only thing that's actually useful in bazaar uh link i don't really want to talk to you right now i kind of want to go to bazaar i want to be in control of my own character but i can't really do that that green uniform looks so adventurous you look like a knight now the haired master said you're heading out to look for zelda you're really something else the kind of i could never imagine myself doing about what you're supposed to do or you're about to do but a lot of work in making this you should take it with i can't even remember what voice i did before you got the adventure pouch you can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear 
Great, we can store four things in there. Awesome. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff in the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You can buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch and they might come in. How would you fit a shield in that? Uh, I know you'll find Zelda first. That's great. How the heck would you even fit a shield in that? It doesn't make any sense. I don't really want to talk to you because you're a jerk, but I will. Hey, I just saw the news. Um, uh, how stupid calls. Groose won't come out of his room. And Zelda's missing. It's all your fault. Way to go out there, buddy. Some senior class guy. You know what? You're gonna... Oh, I can't draw my sword in here. I was gonna say, you're gonna die. But I can't I can't pull out my sword, so... If I could have, though, man, he would have been in trouble. That would have been awful. He would have... He would have been awful. Awful in awful shape. Um, how long... Okay, so we got about five minutes co to go by the sparing hall, which I'll go by first, and then go by Bazaar. I'll go by the sparing hall first because it's just closer. I don't really want to talk to you right now. I want to go to the sparing hall first and grab what is there. Grab the um, the fruit of stamina. Don't want to run up the door. I want to go in the sparing hall. I don't know why I always run up the store. It's just like a tradition now. I've got to run up the store every single time. Uh, what do you have for me, sir? Do uh, Link, the headmaster told me about Zelda. Poor girl. I'm I'm worried about her. Now, I don't know like all the details of what's going on here, but like that sword you're carrying from Skyloft does not like an ancient artifact that can only be carried like by the chosen one, like like. Since you happen to like be carrying it, I guess you can figure out. I don't know why I say like for this guy, but. I guess it's crazy. I wish there's something else I could do for you, Link. Oh, maybe there is. Yes, get a shield in the back. Maybe I'll be able to teach you the secrets of defense. At least I can do for you. I don't really want to do that because I kind of already know how to use a shield. And I also think that I might be able to do something. Let's go ahead and just uh, check. Whoops, close. Uh, right here real quick and just see. Can we turn on the light interface? No, I don't exactly know. Um, pouch. I don't know where I turn on the light interface. Um, but what it does is it basically just gets rid of they're right there so you see how there's like the Wii remote uh it just kind of gets rid of that and puts just the control so i'll kind of i'll have to look and see how you do that there's nothing back here how am i where's where's the thingy uh can i sprint in here no where's the thingy um i don't see any shield i really don't it's possible that he was lying to me uh i need to get the shield though before the video's over how where where do i get the shield buddy where do I get the shield? I don't know where I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know where I'm supposed to get it. No, I don't. Okay, where am I supposed to get the shield? Uh, the art of the shield is in the art of defense. You don't have a chance of winning a battle if your attack and defense aren't balanced. You can get a shield at Bazaar. Always practice with your shield hand in your... Oh, what? We have to buy it. That's lame. I thought we could, like, get a shield for free from you. That's stupid. I would have just gone straight to Bazaar if I didn't know that. Well, whatever. I... <laughs> I would have bought a shield anyways. I thought he gives you a shield. Okay, well, if he doesn't, then that's... Oh, that sucks. I totally swear he gives you a shield. Oh, well. Um, I figure we'll, we'll get uh, the other special thing that's in Bazaar, and then we will grab the shield. Um, if if I've, I'll figure out where you get it. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet. Um, the stall of light, blah, blah, blah. The cloud barrier opening. I must also caution you that descending to the surface is armed with only a sword result in decreased possibility of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions in Bazaar. Wow, because I wasn't going to go do that. Another subject to discuss, Master. Uh, the controls. Free to modify. Ooh, this is what it is. Okay, I figured out. Oh my gosh, we only got like two minutes left. The, uh, uh, ge uh, the gear screen, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now we can edit this. Um, so this is how you do the, the shield thingy. But gear, we can, uh, so it's right there, I knew it was right there, boop, uh, I knew it was right here, so we can go light or pro, and pro just gets rid of everything, and so it's kind of clean, it's nice, but I really don't like pro, uh, I like to be able to see, like, fi, because sometimes she'll, um, she'll say, like, she'll kind of light up, so you know, it's kind of dark right now, she'll kind of light up if she's got something to say, uh, and I just kind of like this interface a little bit better, so we're gonna go ahead and keep this, and I don't want to go down there, I want to go to bazaar. Uh, and we're almost, like, ready to quit, so I will just go ahead and, actually, you know what, we are gonna stop right here, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, we went and got our Skyward Strike, oh, come on, we got the Skyward Strike, the Goddess Sword, dun -dun -dun -dun. and it looks really awesome, so hopefully, again, you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode, goodbye!